My goal is to get rid of the dreaded beep. How he do it. Crypto. Cars. And common sense. How he do it here with another video. So today I want to talk about the TE Smart KVM switch. So um, I got my switch. I got it hooked up. And I had some problems with the keyboard inputs not working. I actually ended up having to use the USB 2.0 for my keyboard, but I'll get to that here in a minute. So anyways, I had my Corsair RGB um, keyboard hooked up, right? Well, according to the manual, you're supposed to hit scroll lock um, twice, and then you can hit hotkeys. Well, what I found out was this is not was not working with my keyboard. Um, so every time I plug my keyboard into the keyboard output, it would just produce garbage when I type. I had to use the USB 2.0. So anyways, my goal is to get rid of the dreaded beep. So every time I switch devices, I get a beep. And this is annoying to coworkers. So the way to get around that was to hit scroll lock, scroll lock, F11. Well, when I did that on my Corsair keyboard in the USB 2, it doesn't work. The hotkeys did not work. So what I did was I got just the crappiest keyboard, USB keyboard possible right here. And I plugged it in to the keyboard um, output on the KVM. And as you can see when I switch, I get the beep. So in order to get rid of the beep, you hit scroll lock, scroll lock, F11. Scroll lock, scroll lock, F11. And now when I go and I change, stealth mode. So um, basically, if you're having trouble with the hotkeys not working, what you can do is you can get a crappy keyboard, plug it in, and it should start working from there. And what I'm saying that is like if you have a wireless module or you have other weirdness in your setup, just get a crappy USB keyboard, plug it in, scroll lock, scroll lock, F11, your hotkeys should work. Um, that's it. I hope you liked today's video. This is how we do it out.